Hey guys, today you'll be learning exactly how you can make your own skill tree system inside of your Roblox game. But newbie, what is a skill tree system? Let me show you that. So what is a skill tree system? Good question. On the left side of my screen, we see a skills tab. And if I click on it, we get this beautiful UI with a skill tree system. So what do we have to do? Okay, so two times speed, be able to run very fast, twice the speed of normal to be specific. I want to buy it, three, two, one, purchase, boom, ka-ching, and we bought it. I want to jump higher, yep, uh, four times, yeah, sure. And I want a sword, a gun, an RPG, yeah, and a laser gun, okay. And if we want to own it again, nope, we can't because we already own it. So let's see, I am walking a little bit faster. I am I am jumping very high. As you can see, I am jumping pretty high. Let me just buy everything because uh, I am rich, of course. Okay, let's buy everything on the skill tree. And now, as you can see, I am insanely overpowered inside of this skill tree system game. So do you want to know how to make this? Then make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. And let's not waste any more time, and let's hop straight into the video. So newbie, how do we set this system up? Good question. First of all, go to the link in the description down below. There is a roblox.com link to a model. You want to get that model and then head back to Roblox Studio. Now that you've got the model, you're doing absolutely great. You want to go to view at the top of your screen. Go to toolbox, and then click on the four blocks over here, which is inventory. Click on it and then insert the skill tree system. Click on it and then it's going to load. Yep, and then OK. Just press OK. And now we got four tools, which are the tools we need for our skill tree system. Now what you want to do is you want to open the folder. And you will see start your GUI, server, and replicated storage. Open replicated storage and you will see items and activate skill. Just select both of them and put them in replicated storage. Server goes into server skip service and then starter GUI goes into starter GUI, right? Just like that. Of course, credits to Pago, my trusted helper for making this. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Now we can code the system. All we need to code is the server script, the client script. So this one server, client, and module. We're going to, from left to right. So we're going to start off with the server. We're going to go to client. We're going to go to module. And that is how we're going to do this video. After that, we have a little recap section and a testing section. And then that will be the tutorial. So make sure you keep up. If you have any issues or questions, join my Discord server down below. Uh, it's discord.gg slash newbyyt. You can't miss it. Uh, discord.gg slash newbyyt. Join the server. We will help you out till it's fixed. So make sure you just join. Just join my server. Thank you. So now let's get to coding. 3, 2, 1. Of course, enjoy.
even though you're now done with the coding process, you are doing absolutely great. There are three errors which we quickly have to fix. So they're just a little typos. In the client script on line 52, you will see string.gsub and change the G to nothing. So string.sub, like that. Subscribe, by the way. In the server script, we have to change speed with a lowercase s to a capital one, speed, and then jump power with a capital J and a capital P. So jump power. That is what we have to do. Now we are entering the recap section. So let's go. So that right there was all of the coding done for this tutorial. You have done absolutely great. It was a lot of coding, but you all managed to do it. Now we've entered the recap section. In this section, I will be explaining what the code does so people who want to learn from it actually can. First of all, we have the server script. We are getting uh, the database, we're getting the replicated storage and all of that stuff. Then when the activate events gets fired, we're gonna check if you have enough money. If you do, we're gonna remove your money. We're going to set your skill. If the skill is speed, jump power or item, then we are going to act accordingly. So speed gets your speed, jump power sets your jump power, and then item uh, gives you an item. When you join the game, we will give you leader stats, money, skills. Uh, we're gonna set your character humanoid dot use jump power true. In that way, we do not need to use the game's gravity. We just need to use um, a number. Yeah, we're gonna give you speed. We're gonna give you jump power. We're gonna give you a finished saving value. Starting speed, starting jump power. We're going to set those to your speed and jump power. When we update you, we're going to basically update the GUI and your speed and jump power. We're going to get your data. We're going to set your data. And when all of this changes, we're going to, of course, change the whole UI. You get the point. And when you leave the game, we're going to set your data. That is basically what the code kind of does. Over here, a lot of variables. Skill info table with name, description, cost, rarity, and number. Sound effects for buy and error. Then we have some buttons and all of that stuff. We're going to wait until our data is loaded. Then when you press on one of the background, uh, if you press on one of these buttons, we are going to uh, check for a skill and then set the GUI and all of that stuff. When you open the GUI, the, the skills tree system, we will remove like the leaderboard and the chat just so you can focus on what's on your screen. And then of course, when you click away, that turns back again. When you try to purchase something, we are going to actually make sure the cost is correct. We're going to, we're going to tell the server that we need to buy something. The server will handle it. If it's a success, we will buy, we will uh, play the buy sound and we will send it to the server and check what scale it was, send it to the server, and then the server handles the rest. It will give you the speed and all of that stuff. We have, uh, we, of course, you get like, success, hey, ka -ching, success. And then after a second, you can purchase again. And then uh, if you don't have enough money, or, or um, if the request fails because you own it or whatever, we will set the text to whatever that was. So in the module script, we are returning certain things. Return cannot, a return can't afford, return owned. That is what the request is. So this request actually changes into this, you know? That's basically what that does. And then after a second, it goes normal again. And when you click on one of the buttons, we will just set the description. That's basically what we do. Over here again, we handle the purchase and then we update the connections. So that is basically what we're doing. It would work, so let's play the game. And we can finally test out our skill tree system. Skills, I want to buy two times speed, ka-ching. Four times, sure, uh, eight times, you know, let's stick with four times. And as you can see, I am a lot faster now. Let's get some jump power in the house. Ka-ching, and woo! As you can see, I am now flying very high. You got a sword, I want a pistol. I only got a sword and a pistol now, as you can see. Only a sword and a pistol. Let's buy the rest, let's buy every single thing. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. And as you can see, uh, when we try to buy what we own, it does not work. Because we own it already. And as you can see, yeehaw. And as you can see, A times speed, as you can see, now I own it. So, as you can see, I am now a lot faster. So this is how you make a 
Skill tree system inside of Roblox Studio. If you did in fact enjoy the tutorial, make sure to leave a like on this video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. And make sure to join my Discord server down below. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie. And I say, peace out.